Have you ever wondered whether or not you're as good at Rocket League as a pro player? Forget all of the mechanics and the hours and free play and all the competitive experience and earnings and you know just overall skill and talent. I've put together the foolproof test to see if you are as good at this game and know as much about this game as a pro Rocket League player. And if you pass, which I highly doubt you will, you could put yourself in a position you know to sign with a major esports organization just by getting all these questions right. So there's a total of 19 questions here and I actually got my friend Bluey who plays for FBC Barcelona to answer these questions with me and if you can beat him at this quiz then you're better than a pro or you know more than a pro or you know more than this pro so try hard my friends and let's see how you match up are you ready for this mm -hmm. I'm ready all right so first question is does holding down your boost after you hit supersonic make your car go any faster than if you're not? No, it doesn't. It doesn't? Okay. It doesn't. Okay, so are you 100% sure about this? I feel like it's like 5% or 10% faster, but I'm going to stick with my gut instinct, gut instinct and say no. Okay, that's your final answer then, right? Yeah, final answer. All right, so the actual answer is that it does make your car go 4. It does. Yeah, 4.5% faster. <laughs> I knew it. I fuck <sighs> Yeah. I, I, I remember reading about it somewhere that like if you boost after your supersonic goes like five percent faster or some shit. And yeah. Like, yeah, it's yeah. Like, you 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 knew it, you just didn't know that you knew it, you know. I just wasn't I just didn't it wasn't set in stone for me. I had no idea. If you want to win the kickoff, um like put it into that half. Hmm. I'm not sure. It dep I think it depends what they do as well. Mm -hmm. It's very like yeah, controversial because it can, the kickoff so random. It could really go anywhere. It's like it depends on so many factors. But I think I say I think just both because both can go in, into that half. It really just depends what they do. Maybe we'll count that question as like a, there isn't a wrong or right. All right, so what type of rotation is it where you rotate around behind your teammates, like on the opposite side of the field where the ball is? What's the term for that? Uh, back post rotate. Yep, back post or far post, whatever you want to call it, right? What is the term for flipping early at the ball so that you actually hit the ball at the end of your dodge? and not at the beginning. So like while, you're, while your car's like coming up at the end of its dodge. Wait, is that pre-flip? Yeah, that's a pre-flip. Yeah, cool. Oof, nice. Smart. All right, what is the most flip resets ever performed on a flip reset goal and who did it? Uh, I'm gonna guess Gainer for a start. Mm -hmm. I wanna say, I think it's higher than this, but I wanna say a good like Maybe fifteen. Nope, 20, it's maybe? it's it's twelve. Twelve. Yeah, Dodeca, yeah. I think is like what he Dodeca. called it. Something like that. I have no idea. I don't even want to know. All right. So, what is the name of the mechanic that makes your car like kind of stop in the air? Stall. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Has the flip reset always been in the game or was it added at one point by developers? Uh, the flip reset was always in the game. It's just people weren't good enough to realize it was there. It was actually added by developers. Did you know that? There was a time no when, way. yeah. So flip re I talked to um, Durkin at, at Psyonix. No yeah, so when they did the Neo Tokyo. I had they, no idea. When they added Neo Tokyo and the wall and the, um, walls you know the like ramps um, oh yeah they made it so that you had an infinite dodge off of those ramps so that you could hit cool like cool shots and then that was when people started realizing that you had your dodge when you fell off of any surface like the ceiling and that's when like jazer some of those people started really? hitting like ceiling Damn, shots i had no idea i was so confident in my answer yeah i thought the same thing i thought it had always been there just people had never tried it yeah Name three professional Rocket League players who use keyboard and mouse instead of controller. Keyboard, mouse, um, Torsas, Fruity, and Yukio. Nice, yeah, those are the big three, right? I don't, I, and then like Zen from. Yeah, Zen, that's true. And a, there was a couple others.
Okay, so what were the ranks from season two and three, and maybe even season four? I'm not sure when they switched it, but Oof. it didn't. Before it was whatever it is okay. now, like diamond, gold, plat. Okay, I think I know what you mean. So I think there was like what grand champion, super champion, champion, prospect. Yep. Um shooting star a rising star so what was between oh, blue and the silver colors what so there was you're right prospect was the low and then there was a gold yeah. division what was that called oh my god it's been, that's, it's been like two three years oh my god i have no idea okay so it was challenger challenger yeah like challenger one two three and oh, challenger elite yes. i remember now yeah Who won the League of Rockets World Cup tournament way back in 2017? The one that was, yeah, like hosted by League of Rockets. World Cup. Yeah, the World Cup. Um, oh, who was this? I, I think, wasn't the final like USA versus Finland? I'm pretty sure it was. I want to say Finland. Yeah, Finland won. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, cool. With Jazer, right? Yeah, Jazer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This one you're not gonna get. <laughs> this one's so hard. All right, what is the total amount of boost on the Rocket League field? There's no way people will know that. No one will know oh this. My God. Okay, so how many hundred boosts are there? There's one, two, three, four. There's six, right? So that's at least six hundred. Mm -hmm. Um, there's how many twelves? Like twelve boosts are on the field. That's the question, right? Oh, I want to say like somewhere in the region of 800 to 900 uh, i'm gonna say 900 okay so it's 936 yeah so there's 28 small boost pads which is a total of 336 yeah. and then six full boost canisters or whatever. yeah we'll say if you're within 100 you get it so i'm gonna give it to you How many seconds does it take for boost to appear, like reappear, for the small pads and the big canisters? Okay, so I know the big ones are 10 seconds. Mm -hmm. um, I want to say, and the small ones are five. Yep. I actually like don't know the answer to this one. I couldn't find it anywhere, but it's so dumb and you probably know it. But how many seconds does it take to respawn after a demo? I'll say 2.5 to 3 seconds. All right, I'm going to like take that as like the official answer. So no matter what you said there, it would have been right. Because I literally can't find it for some reason. All right, can you name which team won the RLCS World Championship and which team got second from each season. Okay, so season one, um, I, I by Power won. That was uh, Kronovi, Lichinia, and Overzero. And uh, they beat Flipside Tactics, which was Michaels, Mark Yuji, and Kuxa. Season two, um, Flipside Tactics won. That was Kuxa, Mark Yuji, and Greasy. They beat Mocket, which was Devo, Violent Panda, and Pashi. Season three, Northern Gaming won, which was Remco, Devo, and Turbo Pulsar. They beat Mocket, which was Kadop, Mystic, and Fairy Peak. Mm -hmm. um, season 4, Gale Force won, which was Kadop, Violent Panda, and Turbo Pulsar. They beat Method, which was a lot. Mognus and Metzenaris. Uh, season 5, um, Dignitas won, which was Turbo Pulsar, Kadop, and Violet Panda. They beat NRG, which is Justin, Fireburner, and Garrett G. Season 6, uh, Cloud9 beat um, Dignitas. Cloud9 consisting of Gimmick, Squishy, and Torment. Uh, Dignitas, of course, Kadop, um, Violet Panda, and Turbo Pulsar. Uh, season 7, um, Renault Vitality, consisting of Scrub Killer, KDOT, and Fairy Peak beat G2 Esports in the finals, which consisted of Rizzo, Chicago, and JNAPS. Impressive, you even had the players' names too. Can you name the players who got first and second in both of the 12 Titans 1v1 tournaments? Both 12 Titans. I think Scrub Killer won them both, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I think was Fairy Peak second in both? So Fairy Peak got second, second season. Yeah. And in the first season, he did play Scrubbed, I think, to go to the finals, but oh, I don't know if that's true or not. But I know Lachinio was the one person who got second in season one. Oh, really? But yeah, Scrub won both.
How long after jumping do you still have your dodge? Uh, it's in the region of, oh god, I think it's 1.5 to 2 seconds? Uh, I'm gonna say 2 seconds. It's 1.5. 1.5. <laughs> 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 you knew it. <laughs> what are the five standardized hitboxes in Rocket League? I have not read up on this. I mean, okay, so this is the Octane. Um, there's the Dominus. There's the the Plank. There's five, right? So that's three. Um, okay, so it's Octane, Flat, Plank, the Hybrid, mm -hmm. yeah. Four. So one more. What's the last one? Oh no. Brain, please work. I have no idea what the last one is. So it's the Breakout. Oh, it's the, yeah, of course it is. Yeah, Breakout. so it's Octane, Dominus, Plank, Breakout, Hybrid. Yeah. What is the most goals scored by one player in RLCS and who did it in a single game? In a single game? I have no clue. This could literally be anyone in like any season. I want to say Kuxa. Yep, he it is Kuxa. Yeah, Kuxa. Probably in the early seasons. How many goals? Um, I'm going to say, I'm going to say eight. Oh, so close. It's seven. Seven. Ah, oh, I knew it. No, seven. What is the highest point scored by a single player in RLCS? Um, I want to say somewhere in the region of like 800 to 1,000. So I'm going to say 1,000. Okay, and who do you think it was? Play Cux. Okay, so it was Justin. It was Justin, really? Yeah, yeah. and it was 1325. 13, gee, that's massive. <laughs> yeah, it was like this season, I think, too. This, <sighs> that is mad. Yeah, that he was insane. he was on a tear in <laughs> league play. Like he was un yeah, I know. He was unreal. God. That is that is out of his world amount of points. Yeah, it's so many. Jeez. Okay, so that was the last question. I'm not sure. I wasn't totally keeping track there at the end how many you got right, but it's okay because you know I wasn't expecting you or any other pros to get them all right. Mm. It's yeah, just no way. <laughs> there may be some Rocket League nerds out there who who that got like way more right than you, but yeah, I don't know. I think I did pretty good. I think you did I'm good. Proud yeah. of myself. So, yeah. Nice. Awesome. Well, thanks, dude. Time. All right, guys. I gave Bluey a total score of about 14 out of 19. There was somewhere I gave it to him because he knew basically the entire question except for one. And then there was somewhere he got like half the question wrong and I didn't give it to him. So it kind of all depends on how you grade yourself. But I would say if you got more than 13 or 14 of those completely right, then you passed. If not, then you failed. And you're not better or smarter than a pro Rocket League player. But yeah, this was all just for fun, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. And yeah, we'll see you next time. Peace out.